Hi, I'm Evan Carmichael. Welcome to another edition of Ask Evan. In today's episode, I'm going to answer questions from one armor reader, Stan, and also share uh, one of the tools that I use to run a business that I really like. So it's a two for one deal here today. So Stan's question is about sitemaps. So he was saying that a third party recently told him that his website rankings could be hurt if he doesn't have a sitemap. And he says he couldn't find a sitemap on evancarmichael.com and if I can give him some advice. So Stan, sitemaps are really important. The reason why they're important is to show the search engines all of the pages that exist on your site. So what Google will do as an example is they'll come to your homepage and then start digging into your site by crawling the links. So the more you link to your deeper pages, the more they're going to be able to find those pages and get them indexed into their search engine. If you don't do a good job linking them, then you could have pages that sit on your site, but Google never knows about them. So in that case, if Google doesn't know about them, they're not going to be able to rank them for you. So the sitemap is a way to show Google and the other search engines all of the different pages that you have on your site. So we spend a lot of time with our Google sitemaps in particular, and I'll just show you a quick example. So if I go to my homepage, I have a link here that says Google sitemap. So I'm on here a lot. And I'll show you what I do with my sitemap, just to kind of give you a sense. So we have a number of different sitemaps and we have some subdomains that we're testing out for our sitemaps. Always running different tests on the site, but my main one here is forevercarmichael.com. This is my Google Webmaster Tools and everybody can have a Webmaster Tools account. If you click on site configuration, you'll be able to go to sitemaps. And this will show you the different sitemaps that Google recognizes. So we have you know, nine sitemaps plus our main in, uh, article sitemap and a blog sitemap. And if you click in on either of these, it'll show you kind of a detailed list of every page that we've indexed. So we use a tool that I'll talk about later to create the sitemap. But once you create the sitemap, you submit it to Google. You basically just go here, uh, submit a sitemap, and you add in a URL. So evancarmichael.com, or this would be you know, yourwebsite.com slash whatever, and put your sitemap in. Uh, usually it's an XML type of feed, so that's why I see it here. And what's really beneficial is you can see if there's any problems with your sitemap. So here there's there's been a problem with the sitemap. So we have 11 pages submitted, nine are indexed, and there's some issues. So we need to look at that and see what uh, see what's going on. If we look at our main articles, we can see we have almost 60,000 that have been uh, contributed to the sitemap, and almost all of them are indexed. So it it shows that. The content is being picked up and is being indexed by Google. What you can do if you don't have as much content, I don't expect most people to have, you know, 100,000 pages of content on their site. What it can do is show you which pages are being indexed and which ones aren't, which is really important. So if you know that you're submitting pages to Google and they're not recognizing those pages and not in the index, maybe there's something wrong with those pages that you can fix up and resubmit so that they will be indexed. These other sitemaps are other files that we have on the site that could have uh, pictures in them or forum posts or other things that they may not always get picked up so we don't really care too much about these ones but I pay a lot of attention to this you know if, if only half of our articles are being indexed and that would be a major problem then we'd have to look at how we can fix those up so that's that's what's useful about the sitemaps it helps the search engines know which articles are on your site and it helps you figure out which articles are being indexed and which ones aren't and if there's any problems they'll let you know so that's a great way to do it. Now to create a sitemap, it can be super easy. Uh, you don't need to have a lot of technical experience to do it. So what I use, if I go to my favorite tools here, this is a page I use to showcase all of the tools that I use to run my business. I use a free tool. Free is always a magic word for business owners. Uh, it's called G Site Crawler. And G Site Crawler is a free download that uh, is, a, is a PC software. You download it onto your computer, you put in your URL, and basically what it'll do is crawl your website like Google. So it'll start on your homepage and then start going to all the subpages and then it'll create a sitemap for you. So to create that sitemap, it has to be in a specific language that the search engines understand. And if you're not a very technical person, it can be a little overwhelming to try to create that. So what we'll do is use G Site Crawler. We'll do this once a month for, for our site because we have a lot of ongoing stuff that's happening with our business. Uh, if you don't have a lot of changes and you don't need to do it as frequently. But this program uh, does two cool things. One, it creates a sitemap and will automatically you know, generate that file, which all you have to do is upload to your website and then go to, back to Google and click uh, submit a sitemap and put in the URL. The other really cool thing about it is it'll tell you if there's any 
errors with your website. So it'll tell you if there's any crawl errors. So you might be linking to a page that doesn't exist anymore because you've updated it or you changed your template or you're trying to pull in a picture that doesn't exist. It tells you what those errors are and gives you a big list. It tells you, you know, where the errors are generated from and what you need to do to fix it. So that's great to either do yourself or give to your technical guy to be able to go in and make those site changes because the more of those kind of broken links you have or broken images somewhere on your website, uh, the more of those you have, the, the worse it looks for Google and, and you could potentially have a penalty hit on your site. Usually those types of errors are not on your home page. They're buried deep on some old page that you haven't updated for years. But if you have enough of them, that could that could uh, look bad in the search engine's eyes. So you definitely want to fix those up. And again, G Site Crawler does that for you and it's completely free. So Stan, I hope that helps answer your question. If you guys liked the video, please give the video a thumbs up below. I always appreciate seeing those, you know, those uh, thumbs ups coming in. And if you uh, have any comments, or if you're using a different program, I'd love to hear from you if you want to leave a comment under the video, and I'll, I'll always do my best to respond to you, or maybe even make a video reply. So thank you, and we'll see you on the next episode.